different needles that work well with jersey and cotton knits. You can use a twin stretch needle, which gives you two lines of stitching at a time, jersey needles, ballpoint needles, or even just a regular universal needle will work. You'll see when you start working with the material, if it skips stitches or it creates too big of holes, then you would want to switch your needle to something that works better. Here are three different stitches that I like to use when I'm sewing with knits. Sometimes I use just a straight stitch. If it's a vertical stitch, it's okay if it's straight, or I use a lightning stitch or a zigzag stitch on horizontal seams. Using pins is fine, but I like to use binder clips because they make less holes in the fabric and you don't really want holes in your t-shirt, do you? What I like about the cedar sweater are these raglan sleeves. You can see the lines there. I like the really thick waistband, which I use a contrasting um, fabric. And then on the sleeve bands, you can see I also used a contrasting fabric. I really like the boxiness. On this shirt, which is one that I drafted myself, I just took my measurements and made a square. And then at the neckline, you can see I used ribbing and then I used it also on the sleeve. And there I surged the edge and left it kind of raw um, just to give it a different element right there on the sleeve. And the sleeves are just rectangles. There's nothing fancy about those sleeves as I put them in. And then at the bottom, I did a band as well. For this Ruska tee, which is just a plain tee, I thought I'd make it interesting by making a half sleeve. You can see here, I did just a little tiny zigzag to finish that. And then I added the neckline in a different color. And I did the little zigzag at the bottom hem as well. It's tiny, it's a lightning stitch. This is the Merlot Field Tee by Soho 7. And I like the sleeve and shoulder detail that's part of the pattern because it lends itself to pattern uh, color blocking. And you can see here, I just did two different shades of the same kind of um, like coral, muted coral. And then I did a small zigzag on the bottom hem of that shirt. For this tee, this is the Ruska tee again, I wanted to do something fun. So I used strips of the fabric that I had from scraps as I was cutting out the pattern and I just stretched them and then sewed them on the shoulder in one long line and then they just kind of hang off like a fringe on both the front and the back. It's super simple to do. Again, I did the lightning stitch to hem this sleeve. I did a half sleeve and I didn't actually bother to serge it or anything. This is a tee that I drafted, and here I wanna show you that I used the twin stretch needle, and this is a wider twin stretch. First I surged the neckline on, and then I did the stitching on top. You can also use a thinner, um, a narrower twin stretch needle, but I just have this one, and a little bit of channeling happened in between the two layers. This is the Hey June lane raglan and I did a, a wide band at the bottom that's not part of it. I added these contrast areas I'm showing you and I did each part of the pattern in a different color to just make it some fun color blocking. There are different kinds of cottons and jerseys that you can use when you're making a t-shirt. This is an organic cotton jersey, and I like this because it's not super slinky and stretchy, and it's really just like kind of feels like a standard t-shirt. It's thin, it's not too thick, but it has a very nice quality to it, and it's not overly stretchy. This has a little bit more spandex in it, and so you can have like a, this would be better for like a tighter fitting shirt, but I also used it for a t-shirt. It just hangs a little bit differently than something that doesn't have spandex in it. This is what you find a lot of times at, at the fabric stores, and it's probably not my favorite. It's good for something that you want to be drapey and maybe like have that kind of looser look. This one has a lot more spandex in it, or maybe it's not spandex, but it has something that makes it very drapey and droopy. And I feel like it's harder to find the organic cotton type stuff. Mostly I find this online. Ribbing is great to use for um, collars and neckbands. 
and sometimes armbands and things. It doesn't come as wide or as in as many colors, but you can find more online and there's different thicknesses of the ribbing. You can even use knits that are almost like a sweater knit. So this is a sweater knit that I used. Sometimes I save my husband's old t-shirts. So this is an old t-shirt and it's just cotton t-shirt, not too much stretch or anything, just like an average amount. And I can use this when I'm color blocking or in a neckband or if I'm making a t-shirt for one of my kids. This is called a baby rib, I believe, because it's a very tiny rib knit. And this can be used for a t-shirt as the main body, or you can use it again for necklines and armbands. This is a thicker organic cotton, so it would make, you can see the thickness here. This is uh, one of my prints from Spoonflower. And you can use it, just it's better probably for like a thicker t-shirt. So maybe a long sleeve shirt when you wanna be warm, or I used it when I was making a robe or children's pajamas. Um, it's good for all of those kinds of things. I probably wouldn't use it for a summer t-shirt unless it was maybe sleeveless or something. It has, it has good body and it doesn't stretch a ton, but it does stretch. It's just a little bit different than like something thin like this. So this is the organic cotton knit from Spoonflower. Oh, you know what? This is a rib and this is a little bit thicker. This is the baby rib. This is a little bit thinner. These are from IC Fabric, these two. So this is a thinner rib and it stretches a little more. The fabric's a little thinner. But this has a little more of a drape to it. So this again is good for something loose or fluttery. Here's another one of my husband's old t-shirts that I'm saving for color blocking. I love, I love getting out all of my colors of something, whether I'm doing a t-shirt or anything, and looking at what I have available. So I even save these small scraps because when it comes to color blocking, you don't always need a huge piece. So it's a great way to use up your scraps. Um, this is another, this is from IC Fabric, and this is an organic cotton knit. It's similar to that black one. This is my preferred type of t-shirt fabric. So those are just some different kinds of knits and ways that you can use them for your t-shirts.